Thank you. We use many adjectives with the noun thought. We say there are good thoughts and bad thoughts. We speak of evil thoughts and of uplifting thoughts. We mention creative thoughts and destructive thoughts, and these are only a few. Now, the one I prefer of all of them is living thought. Let me illustrate this. A young friend of mine was pitching a major league ball game in a temperature of 105 degrees. All at once, he felt that he was being broiled out there on the pitcher's mound. Strength went out of him. He considered asking the manager to take him out of the ball game. And then a thought flashed through his mind. He found himself staring down at the baseball on the ground at his feet. The white horsehide cover with its red stitching was one of the most familiar things in his life. Suddenly he thought of that ball in a different light. He thought of its relationship to thousands, even millions of people in this great land. The happiness brought by it to men and women, to boys and girls, it meant so many things to so many people. With these living thoughts running through his mind, he says he became so re-energized that he picked up the baseball and pitched the rest of the game. He had, you see, found new energy in a living thought. The records of the world are filled with such instances. They occur in very high place, not only in ball games. And they can occur with and for all of us if we give them a chance. Let's talk about how to give them a chance after this message. At the Congress of Vienna, which settled the outcome of the Napoleonic Wars, statesmen gathered around a conference table to settle the issues that could mean peace or war. The intensity of discussion, the pressures, and the myriad of details made their problems insurmountable. But then, fatigued with negotiations, Count Metternich, the great Austrian diplomat decided to break off the discussions for a couple of days. The diplomats met socially and relaxed together. Slowly, they began to concede to each other that they could give on their positions. They stopped thinking about borders and countries and suddenly saw each other as living, thinking persons. And they created peace in Europe for over half a century. Every situation in life has its negative and its positive aspects. The ability to use living thought is simply the ability to find in all of the problems that face us the creative, joyful results that can come from facing them and solving them. Choose enthusiasm daily, and you are likely to have it permanently.